Hello everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day, and welcome to SCP The Endurance. Apparently there's a lot of history to this game, it looked interesting, where it is a combination of, like, FNAF and SCP. As the Game Store page puts it, SCP The Endurance has been in the works since 2015, like, goddamn, is one of the first game projects that the individual, uh, attempted to get through all by themselves. The goal was to bring my two favorite games, SCP and Five Nights at Freddy's, together and to get some practical experience in game development, and 2018's The Endurance has been brought back to life and rebuilt from the ground up. Uh, made by the developer and a supposedly YouTuber who I'm unfamiliar with, uh, Alaphilin? If I'm pronouncing their name right. Unfamiliar with the individual. What you can expect is a FNAF-inspired gameplay with quite a few original twists, familiar faces with the SCP universe, pre-rendered graphics, custom nights, game jolt integration, which I logged in, uh, custom night score base leaderboard, fully original soundtrack, and voice acting. They paid money to make this free game as good as it can be. And yeah, that's about it. So, looked interesting, released yesterday, and yeah, hey, let's give it a try. Tired of lackluster food and cell conditions. Or maybe you ended up in a solitary room for inappropriate behavior during your daily routines. Inappropriate? Worry not, Class D personnel. We got you covered. Behold, the Endurance, our brand new program. Very nice. We want you to put your skills Very to colorful. practice in a variety of tasks currently unattended <laughs> in our facility. As you know, SCP is silly an organization cutscene, pieced together to make the world a better and safer place for both humanity and our specimen. We're like a giant mechanism. To sustain this perfection for years ahead, some maintenance practices are heavily required. Recently we found out about a few faulty parts holding our facility back. Mm, look at those liquid physics. But thanks to our brilliant management, a swift and organized removal of said defects has been arranged. And that's where you come in. We need you to fill in these empty spots to keep our organization running. Don't let your lack of qualifications be a concern. <clears throat> Presented solution is just a temporary measure, so you won't have to struggle for long. It also Ooh. means you have a limited time to gather an additional food service for the next year. Oh, and yeah, who knows, rubber. if you happen to be a bad boy, you could shed some light on your future and say farewell to your nasty solitary room once and for all. Sounds amazing, right? So oh, join yeah, us yeah. right now. Log in with your credentials in the terminal, and you will be presented with a variety of jobs to choose from. Mm. We count on you, Class D. Let's make our world a happier place. <laughs> Together. The D-Class life. We got a brand new program. You can get out of your solitary cell, but you'll probably die. We need guinea pigs. <laughs> but all right. This is a really funny introduction to the game, really serious. I mean, it's very silly, but obviously a mix of serious. Ah, it's like FNAF 2 and 1 combined by the looks of it. Bring Ronald! Hi there, I'm Ronald. Welcome to the Endurance Program. You chose, or perhaps you've been forced to work, as a night guard here on level D. Tonight, I'll be teaching you how to operate this junky what? camera system. I'm a maintenance engineer, so keeping this crap in decent working condition is basically my only duty here, so I'd be the best person to draw you in. No worries, now go easy on ya. And just don't tell the rest of the staff I said that. They would love to see you running headless. I don't really share their attitude though. As you can see, there's a PC station for your disposition. It's rocking an early version of our software on it, mm -hmm. hence there's that weird terminal thing on a monitor to your right. But it's not as complicated as you'd think. Its main purpose is running some essential commands and logging in since user interface assets aren't ready for that yet. It also powers up a camera system which is an essential tool for this job, so uh -huh. you absolutely need to keep this thing running. Mm -hmm. For security measures, the passwords on every computer here in the facility are changed every day. Mm. Since you're a Class D and you have no permissions around here, I'll be leaving a sticky note with a passcode for you. How nice. So, 
Shall we try to see if you'll be able to run this thing? I'm okay. going to remotely pull the plug in your area. Okay, good one. Hurry up. Cutting okay. off the power means you'll have to boot this machine up again from the okay. ground up. Uh, B. Here's what you'll have to do. Oot. Flip the lever on the wall in front of you to get your room some juice. Mm -hmm. Then power up your PC. That boxy thing on the right of your table. Mm -hmm. You'll have to wait a few seconds for it to boot up. Okay, then so it's that's gonna the tower. For a password. Looks like a Type in PlayStation whatever's two. on that sticky note. If done correctly, we should be able to speak again. Ready? Mm -hmm. Get flip, boop. Do it, do it. Where do I input the password though? On the other computer? Ah. Detected permission level two. Looks like this is gonna be easier than I thought. Thank you. Well done. Why is there an old now, version right there? Let's though? familiarize you with oh, the cameras. cameras. There e. are three floors for you to watch over. Three floors. Each has a set of cameras. Some of these hang in dark places and have been equipped with lights. Mm -hmm. If there's a flashlight available, a text in the corner of your camera feed will appear. Pressing Z on your keyboard activates the light. Oh, oh course, that's a familiar room. Flashlights with you in the office as well, but you need to keep in mind all of them consume power when used. Sounds like now would be a good time to talk about power management. Mm -hmm. This night's an easy one. For practice purposes, you've been provided with unlimited power. Unfortunately, tomorrow there will be a limited energy pool for your night shift. Hmm. Things that may drain your electricity are lights, PC, camera system, ventilation, and a door. Yes, that door on your right. Hence, that usage meter is overloaded. Mm -hmm. But there are ways you can save some of that precious energy. Now, there's a link to the ventilation system on CAM2D. By clicking on a server unit on the left, you're mm -hmm. able to toggle ventilation on and off. But you have to keep in mind, we're deep underground. You still need to be able to breathe. Okay. Another way is putting your PC to sleep when it's not in use. It consumes less power, wakes up crazy fast, and starts right where it left. You can do that by pressing X on your keyboard. Huh. Oh, I almost forgot. There's a replica of a mask of SCP-035 for you to use. Being a guard among these crazy abominations is no easy task, but it may help you fool some of them. And that's it. So I need to know who I that to works with. Now. Remember what I said. Oh, and be a lot sure of to make use of a library on the left monitor to look those SCPs you're about to encounter up. Oh. It may save your life. Hang in there, and good luck. Okay, so wait. I need more information here. Okay, so... If I turn off the power... I can't use the cameras. When should I use that? Ventilation feed, wait. CPU usage. I... I, I have to turn off? Oh, man. Okay, wait. But, like, when should I turn off the ventilation? Why? Like... We are on floor D. If there's things... Uh, if there's things up here which have no cameras... We can lock one elevator at a time, so if there's anything here, we have to keep them locked up here? I guess? Because we can only unlock lock one at a time. Here, we're in a room. The hallway's up ahead. So, it's... Like... It's confusing. When I try to look at the map, I see I try to see how it connects hallway-wise by looking at the cameras. Yeah, just continue, I guess. Well, we'll see. I I think I'd imagine to use the computer less as, as much like as little as possible, but at the same time, turning it off. We'll see. Usage is two. Oh. How will I know to close that? Interesting. Oh yeah, we gotta boot in. I'll have to just figure out what can go ahead of me, when to flick off the power, what'll protect me from what, yada yada, things like that.
Okay. So, usage is... Interesting. Um, let's check around what... Oh. Okay, well, that's a familiar thing. If we use the cameras, it drains power. Okay, so in terms of breathing... Well, this thing's at floor C. So how do they go from floor C... And how do they get down to my level? An elevator that's at 4C, I guess? Here... That's like the starting room, isn't it? It's like SCP would be there? They go from... Ah, oh, I see. So they'll show up in the elevator and come this way or that way. Well, this is the vent on the side. But how do they get to the vent from 1D or 7D is my question. Where does that go exactly? What? It dead? Did die or did he die? This old man has still has some tricks up his sleeve. Time of death, one thing. Okay, so we died to the old man. Huh. Now to figure out how. Hmm. Always poke around, see if you can find something useful before things get messy. I'm gonna assume he was just down the hallway kind of shit. Alright, so, boot things up. I have to figure out... I'll, I'll test to see how close the creature in the woods can get before I have to close it. I'd rather not close it too early. Even if it means dying, we'll have to figure out... Uh, how close we can get before it equals death. Otherwise... There might have been a way we could just flash whatever's in front of us. Okay, so that guy's in room there. I'll presume floor C is like a dead end area where, where 2C isn't an elevator. I'll presume the only way to get down from here is 4C. So let's examine the closest areas just to make sure there's nothing. And how long can we go without breathing is my question. Okay, so that guy's in there. How long can we go with the fans turned off? Okay, I can tell what the, like, the bubble, what causes the old man to show up. It's like the bubbles festering on the bottom right, but what does that mean? I wish I had got it. I wish I got a tip to be like, hey, you blo you don't die to the old man by doing X and Y. What? I don't know what gets him to kill me. I have no idea. Hmm, well, I'll skip ahead until I figure it out, I guess. Wait, a bear thing? Uh-oh. Alright. Alright, I was able to avoid it with the mask. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, that's probably how close I can get before death. Uh, let's go to the cameras now. Nothing. But, uh, wait, he's very close. Was that the vent, though? I think that's, like, right there. So once he pops around the corner... Wait. New entity has been discovered. Access documentary. Okay. Uh... He's still there. Okay. So we have to know when he's a... Like, as soon as he pops around a corner, is it like the Humpty Dumpty game where it's like I have to put on the mask? Get over. Okay. Wait. I don't know what the teddy means. But, uh... Nope. See, that guy's coming around the corner, so I have to see. Will he pop around the corner? I'm not sure. I'd rather not die, but my power usage is pretty... I'm not sure. We'll just do what we can in terms of, like, a local environment. If something pops around the corner, I'll see if I have time 
to react or not. So do this. Nope, nope. Okay, what's in the vent? You. Something is in the vent, so it's like the only way to. We'll see. How do I scare them back? Just leave, watch them with the mask? Mm-hmm. Or do I need to turn off power? Can you fuck off? Bear too. Okay. No, sir, he's not fucking off. Bro, I need to open the door. Bruh? Um. Okay, I think we need to do something else with this, uh, SCP-173. He's just poking his head out, man. The power's gonna run out. He's just staring at me forever. Um. Did to not look at him? Nah! Okay, that was a mistake. Staring contest. Um. Well then. Well, he's... Yeah, this is not gonna be good. Ah! Damn. Alright, I don't... You think it's made of smooth stone or a cobblestone? <sighs> okay. SCP-173. I'll assume, based on how SCP-173 functions, it's that as soon as he gets into your room, it's basically impossible. Keep SCP-173 in your room for one in-game hour. Well, yeah, okay. L plus ratio. <laughs> Twitter sounding uh, achievements. Alright. Interesting. SCP Foundation strives for a better tomorrow, probably. Yeah. But okay. Um Everything drains a lot of power. I'm gonna imagine SCP 173 is the kind of thing where it's like you'd want to keep staring at him from time to time on the cameras to make it so you avoid him actually entering your room. Cause once God damn it. X nine? Six? See? No, okay. Lowercase, nine, six. Is that a Q then? X, Q, six, bump, bump. Okay. See, we're already... Oh, why is the power chain so fast? Okay. How about this? We go, we turn off air. We'll see how long we can last without air. Uh, if our, if our character's vision starts getting blurry, then we turn it back on. That's essentially what we do. Um... Bear. Okay, turn it back on. Bear, fuck off a little bit more. There we go. Um, okay, let's look out for that SCP. Which he starts here. So where is he at now? Oh, he's heading for the elevator. Of course he is. So we'll occasionally do this, basically. Since we have him on camera, I'll presume he's the kind of entity where, like, you know. Okay. Where I had to, like, just keep watching him like that. I don't think I'd have to get really that anal about, uh... Bonk. That anal about... There you go. I feel like I'm already playing like a pro. And then we do boop, bop, boop. Like a pro. We should be fine. Like, we'd have to be really, really multitasking a lot, though. 
Like, I know how to counter... If I'm... Per, uh, per, like, I, SCP-173 is about staring contests. So it's like, if I keep doing this, I presume he can't move. There'd been prior... Prior uh, Five Nights at Freddy's games where the entire point was... Get over. That there'd be some that you'd have to watch constantly. I think Five Nights at Kyle's did something like that, too. But, eh, I should be fine. As long as I don't, he doesn't go in the elevator, but I don't know who else to look for in floor D. Because I'm just going to go this back and forth. At 3 a.m. will be a little bit okay. Actually. As soon as the bubbling goes away. Okay. Nothing there. We're good to go. I'll just constantly... I, I can't turn off... No. And you... Hold the light makes it go away. And go here, here, boop, pop, beep. I, I'd see no reason... Hmm. Forgot to turn that back off. Hmm. Like, and maybe if I do turn off the power. 2.1 versus 3. It is pretty quick with the boot up, so maybe we can do that. You know? Maybe we can. It's like... You. To save even more power. And then we do that and turn off the computer. I guess that'd be the most optimized way of playing. Eh, it's the only way to save even more power. Alright, fine. I guess I can do that. Look at him once, turn off the... I think that, that'd be... St it's just... It's kind of annoying. Like, just imagining yourself working in this environment and you're constantly putting the computer in sleep mode and then rebooting it, pushing the power button every five seconds. But, eh, whatever it takes to survive. Because my power drain is pretty crazy right now. I think I... And now. After the laughter, it should be fine, I'd imagine. You... There. We need to be as optimized as possible. As we're running out of power, this will be the last time I actually look at him. Then I'll keep the power off. There we go. Because now it's like, uh, the dude can come in the room, I don't care. I, I need to... Do I need to survive 6 a.m. or 7? Hmm, whatever. SCP-173 will take a long time to get reach this area. A lot of movement. So I'll, uh... Hey, this is only night 2 and I've already drained a lot of power. There's a lot of optimization and efficiencies. I have to learn. How long do I have to hold off 173 and stare at him? If I just turn off the power, would that be better? We did it, there we go. Maybe it's instead of turning off the computer, I just turn off all the lights itself. Every single time. Hey yo, night three. We'll check it. You can access uh, Entity Library from both PC and from the Extras menu. Okay, boot that shit up. Some gentle piano music playing. B A. Okay. We'll start the camera. We'll find the SCP. He's there. We're good. So if I turn off the power, and then turn on the power. Oh no, we have to do. Oh, that's why turning off the power is bad. Yeah. Okay. We can't. No. 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 What? Uh oh. Oh no. Uh it's rude to stare. How do I. Okay. <clears throat> the question is for him, it's staring. Would that mean don't move your mouse cursor over him? 
or don't look to the left while he's there. Not sure. It's a new thing to have to worry about. Ah, uh, we'll see. Hmm. A new monster. But yeah, no, no turning off power unless just the last <laughs> boaft. Bo boa 5D? B U A F D. Okay. But yeah, that's probably dangerous. We figure out how to. Oh, okay, he's there. I will. Yeah, turn off the power. Wait, hello. Would you mind playing a game with me? Um. Can I reply to that even? Mm. I'm loading up the game. Mm. You're just not gonna stare then. And mask, as soon as he lasts, I should be able to take it off. Okay. He's gone. Okay. Uh, dude. Uh, okay, tic tac toe. There's a lot more things happening. Ah! There you are. Dude! Still there. Uh, what are you going to do now? If I don't play with the SCP, he'll probably get upset. Bear, get away. Actually, I heard you. Okay. Uh, still there, turn off. Everything's good. Someone in the vents, that's not a good sign. Where is he? He's still there. Um. Turn it back on. Flip you. Still there. We're good. Turn off. I win. Rematch time. It's my time to shine. No, it isn't. And up oh, one seven three. Where are you? There you are. Bubbling. We got this. Okay. Rematch time. Mm, I'd say I'm decent at. It. My time to shine. Uh, I'd say I'm decent with this optimization, but. Mm. No, 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 no. Nice try. Bonk. And oops, I uh, interesting. Snap. Mm, wait, need to turn on the power. Still there, good. Uh screw you, nice try. Bear. Close that. Get away, bear. Bear. You that <laughs> floor D. Or for e? I don't know. Wait, where is he? Ah, fuck. Nope. I gotta find out where he is. There he is. Okay, he's gone. Um, X, X. He's still there. We got 37 power, we are still okay. I'm assuming it's like, if we don't draw. <laughs> you go away, turn on power. You, oh, come on. Where is he? Uh -oh. Shit. Oh, he's in there. All right, well, this is not a good sign. Um, 
Shit. He's in the vent. Oh, fuck. Well, it's not a good sign. Guess I can turn off power. Actually, nope, that's a big mistake. I shouldn't have done that. Ha ha. Ha ha. Bear. I win. Come on. Nope. Come on, the power just goes out when I had power remaining, seriously. Oh, 30 minutes. God damn it, what would that be? Like, two minutes? Isn't like five minutes is one hour? No, that wouldn't make sense. Mm. Is one minute every hour? It's hard to tell because, like, when you're focused on a game, in a game like like a FNAF-style game, time moves kind of slow. At the same time, it can move kind of... I mean, I don't think it can move fast now. Either way, let me try that again and uh, hopefully win. Oh, God. <laughs> Except when he's just... I don't know. He's just really shy. Give him some space. Mm. 0.10? I would, like, argue 10 seconds. Eh. Anyways, yeah, let me skip ahead and concentrate and see if I can beat night three at least. What? Is it the mouse cursor? I'm gonna have to see if it's the fucking mouse cursor, okay. Motherfuckers to the right for once. They might be the mouse cursor. Like, you have to maneuver the mouse cursor around him. Might be. I'll, I'll confirm for you guys when I can. Okay, maybe... Maybe I'll try, um... Uh, going, looking back in the camera, thinking it's like a Five Nights at Freddy 3 thing. Where it's like... Flickering in and out of the cameras, maybe? But the priority is definitely making sure SCP-173 never reaches my room. That is top, top priority. Yeah, I think he does vanish if I do that. Alright. Yep. Yeah, excellent. Alright, I found out how to get rid of him. It isn't just staring a different way. It's flickering in and out like at Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Excellent. Uh, he's trying to trick me. Shit. Yep. Nope, nope. Get over. Uh, fuck. Be a boot. Okay. Your time to shine! Don't think so. Uh, it's gonna be a draw, whatever. Get out of here. I just really don't want him moving into the out elevator. Okay, he's still there. Festering. Boot up the computer while looking. Okay. Eh. Look. Nope. Okay. That's a lot of, uh... Nice. You get out of here. We're at 3 a.m. though, and uh, things aren't looking too fantastic. Wait, what? What was that about? I win. No. Bear. Bear's too close. Bear's too close. Fuck. 
Oh, he's moved. Okay, he's there. Turn off. Game. <sighs> Damn, man, it's just like a... We should have it. We should have it. Turn off power. Game's fine. I'm multitasking a shit ton. Bear got close. Bear, fuck off. Bear. Boom. Boom. Turn off. Game. Boom. If we lose the game, we probably die. Probably. If we take too long, we probably die. Okay. Now that I figured it out about the dude that doesn't like being stared at. Yep. Come on. Giggle, giggle. And he's gone. Wait, we're. Wait. The. Okay, where the fuck did he go? Whoa. All right. I learned. All right, so yeah. The I don't remember the SCP, but the dude that's white you don't stare at you. It, it's like Five Nights at Freddy's three, in which like, um, so you don't get in, like in Five Nights at Freddy's three, there'd be the glitch trap, where it's like if you stare at the hallucination, he jump scares you and ruins your ventilation, ruins the breathing, ruins the cameras, ruins the power, whatever. It's like that in a way. That's at least the comparison I made. Douchebag bikers. Hope they die. Uh, but interesting game. Intense. I was multitasking and muttering to myself the entire time, being like, hey, I want to focus. And then just, like, trying to talk to people and be like, look how stressful this is. <laughs> Playing it to keep the light... It's just night three, but we have to keep the light on the bear. Don't know what the bear does. We have to make sure we don't drain too much power by turning off the PC a lot. I haven't done, like, turning off the air, but that's definitely for, like, secret nights. For those that are gonna be, like... I don't know, what was the guy's name? Darko, who did, like, the last FNAF secret mode, like, absolute hardest difficulty uh, at the worst, and that's just like, one billionth of a second, like, like, no one else beat it, Not even, like, I don't even think Markiplier even beat it, could be wrong, but that amount of multitasking I would never want to do, I, I hate multi 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 micromanagement I hate doing that, but that doesn't mean I won't try doing the difficulty of, one, you've got to go through watching SCP-173, Making sure you flick the cameras to make sure you don't stare at the white SCP whose name I can't remember. Make sure the door closes for the forest door SCP. Put on the mask to avoid the old man. Make sure SCP-173 never gets close. And playing tic-tac-toe constantly where I think losing means you probably die. And taking too long, you probably die. You have to multitask already that level at night three. And they're probably going to introduce another SCP in the fourth night. So, interesting, uh, actually, let's just look, yeah, 173, the object cannot move while within direct line of sight. I don't know how many seconds it takes for them to move, it could be a random gamble between X and Y of, I don't know, like, if you don't stare at them for 10, 15 seconds, 8 to 15, maybe something like that. SCP cable is passing through solid matter, don't care, just put on the vet, just put on the mask. Additionally, SCP-066 will automatically produce notes and effects in the presence of any human, regardless of whether that human interacts. The process takes a minimum of six, six seconds. A single bee was released near the containment, stinging D-4436 before flying away. The, beer was not, the bee was not captured. It is unknown how the bee survived. What? Beethoven Second Symphony... I'm gonna assume this thing can't really kill me, but... Wait, cut. No, I didn't... Hold... No. Let me look at the other SCPs, thank you. Okay, so... 066. This one, which is, yeah, it's predator in nature and will be hostile. The Doctor. SCP is generally cooperative with most Foundation personnel. Outbursts or sudden changes in behavior are to be met with elevated force. Under no circumstances should any personnel come into direct contact. Aggressive if it feels that it is in the presence of what it calls the pestilence. SCP... 049 is capable of causing all biological functions of an organism to cease through skin contact. Okay, we have to figure out how to make sure <laughs> the bear. Oh, the, the ear bear. Oh, yeah, that thing's gross. And 096, the white dude. And 079, the, this upgrade has increased its effective recall from 24 hours to 29 hours, although SP 079 has also taken a more aggressive tone. So we had to deal with 079 still and the doctor. Fantastic.
fantastic. I think the computer has... The computer SCP has probably shown itself by messing things up, or I feel like it had that weird noise and the door on my right closed itself. And I'm presuming it's just meant to... It'll probably mess up the fan, which is why it's like we have access to turn it on and off. It will probably turn it off at work, like random scenarios to make sure we'll have an extra step we have to do if we want to, you know, not die by having a lack of oxygen. But nonetheless, it's an interesting game. I'd look forward to playing it more if, more pe if people are into this. But hey, let me know your thoughts down below. It's a well-made game. Uh, I'd like to, I guess, congratulate the developer for releasing the game. I hope it was worth it. I hope you get good reception. hope a lot of YouTubers play it, and streamers, and that it makes you happy. Because that's all what we want at the end of the day is, you know, for all of us to get happy, to find happiness. Hopefully this makes you happy. And uh, makes it so you're capable of, I guess, making future games much faster, too. But with that said and done, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a fluff subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Rawr.